So today I'm gonna to make a video on how to sync fleeting notes with Obsidian. If you don't know what fleeting notes is, it's basically a note-taking app that drastically reduces the amount of time to take notes within Obsidian. And this is how you sync it. So to start off, I'm gonna open the fleeting notes app through the Chrome extension and register for an account. I've already created an account, so rather than registering, I'm just gonna click the sign in button instead and type in my credentials. Awesome. I can see all my notes that are automatically created when I sign up for an account. So I'm gonna add a new note. I'm gonna write, hello world, maybe copy this URL into here. And that's good, awesome. So on the Obsidian end over here, I'm gonna start off with an empty vault. And first I'm gonna just go and hit the settings button and turn on community plugins. In the community plugins, I'm gonna browse the community plugins and find the fleeting notes sync, install that and once that's finished installing, I'm gonna enable the plugin. Afterwards, I can now go into the settings. In the Fleeting Notes Sync plugin, I'm gonna enter the same credentials I did to log in in the Fleeting Notes app. And once I have that logged in, you can see by the sign in button changing to sign out, I'm logged in. I can run the Fleeting Notes Sync command and voila, Notes Sync success in the top right corner. And I can see all the notes that are synced over here. And here's the note that I actually created earlier saying hello world. So that's basically it on how to set up the sync and everything. It's fairly easy. Now I'm gonna walk you through a bit of the settings so you can understand how you can fit this into your workflow. So over here, we have the encryption key. In the Fleeting Notes app, let's say you've opted into encrypting your notes over here, for instance, then in this encryption key section, you would enter the same key that you've entered in the app. For the folder location, we have the Fleeting Notes app folder. You can change this to whatever folder location that you desire and sync the notes based on the name that's entered in there. For the next setting, we have the notes filter text. Basically, this will filter the notes that are imported from Fleeting Notes based on this text that you input. For example, if I type in hello world over here, and then I'm just gonna delete this folder to show you how it's done, and then I run the sync command, I can see in this folder, it only synced the note with hello world in it. So that's what that does. I'm gonna remove this for now. Okay, sync notes automatically. Fairly self-explanatory, basically the sync will run once every 30 minutes or on startup. So you can enable or disable that. Oh yeah, and you can see right as I enabled that, a bunch of notes got populated. And sync type, so this is probably the most important setting of them all. Essentially, you can determine what type of sync that you want from Fleeting Notes to Obsidian. So we have one-way sync, which is just one-way sync, and then we have one-way sync plus delete from Fleeting Notes. It's essentially just transferring from Fleeting Notes to Obsidian with a no way back. Then we have real-time one-way sync, where notes are transferred from Fleeting Notes to Obsidian, and then changes within Fleeting Notes are changed in real time within Obsidian. Sometimes this might not be desirable as you want to determine when the notes are synced and then you can use a sync command for that, but other times it is. And the same thing with real-time two-way sync, we have that back and forth, like real-time make changes in one, see it in the other, and vice versa. And the next setting is the note template. This is essentially what you change if you want to update the metadata that comes into your note. So what I mean by that is this gives you all the information that you need to adjust the note to your desire. Let me give you an example. Let's say I delete this whole entire section because like I don't really care about that. This is a mandatory field, so you'll need to keep that if you want to have the sync work as expected. So I don't need that. And then I'm going to run the sync command again. And boom, there we go. We only have the ID and the note content. And this is useful if you want to set up a workflow that integrates with the metadata YAML. Finally, we have another thing called the auto-generate note title. And what this is, is it'll take the content from the note and automatically generate a note title based on that. So what I mean by that is, let's say if I run the sync command again with this thing enabled, you'll see that over here, title is automatically generated from the content of the note. So that is what that does. And finally, we have a sync obsidian links to fleeting notes. So within fleeting notes, you can make links, for example, like this with a double square brackets with link suggestions. And sometimes you want to see those links within fleeting notes. And the way to do so is by enabling this feature over here. This will create a new note within fleeting notes 
which will contain all of your links from Obsidian. And we'll see it in action right here. So you'll see this new note over here called links from Obsidian. And let's say if I start typing and I can see all these links are from Obsidian and I can use that to auto complete them the link over there. That's basically all of the settings that I have for now. If you have any questions or you're curious as to how to set up a workflow for yourself, you can see my other video on how I set up fleeting notes for my personal workflow.